Hello everybody, my name is and welcome back to Let's Play StarCraft Remaster. Let us continue on where we last left off. Captain, we have tracked the fugitives Minsk and Raynor to the devastated Protoss homeworld of Iron. Apparently, these two have taken shelter within a fortified Protoss encampment that lies at the base of a fully functional warp gate. I don't understand this. Why would the Protoss armor these men? I have no idea, Gerard. But the Protoss aren't our only problem. Our sensors have identified multiple Zerg groups surrounding the Protoss base. Presently, the Brutes seem to be passive, but there's no telling what might set them off. Should the Brutes attack, we'd be hard-pressed to hold them at bay. I see. It is a risk we will need to take. Minsk represents a considerable threat to our agenda and must be eliminated. Captain, you will focus your attack against the Rebel Command Center in the middle of the Protoss encampment. That must be where Minsk and Raynor are hiding. We will deploy our own Valkyrie frigates and tighten up our air defenses. Vice Admiral Stukov and Lieutenant Duran will provide cover for your forces and ensure that no external threats interfere with your mission. Okay, so there's gonna be a command center basically right there. We just gotta go kill that. Not a huge um I don't think you have to kill anything else. I think it's just a command center, I'm trying to remember. But there's gonna be a Zerg base here. I can't really point out. Uh, there's gonna be Zerg base here, Zerg base here, and then the Protoss are all kind of in the middle there. I don't think we need to kill the Zerg. I think the Zerg can just kinda of do whatever the Zerg does. We can completely ignore them. Hopefully we don't lose any of the siege tanks here. The Valkyries will. The, the Valkyries should kill all this off. They're actually gonna destroy a tank. They do, which is actually annoying because it's actually um semi-random. Like you don't have to lose all the tanks, but you have no control over the, uh, the Valkyries and stuff. Losing a tank is definitely an issue, which kind of sucks. We have to start off the mission like that. We're gonna immediately be over our supply uh, limit. Got all our Valkyries over here as well. So, there's going to be Zerg base over here, and I know how it works is that they're going to attack us with Mutalisk and stuff from this base. So we're going to have these guys basically patrol over there. You guys are basically going to start building supply depots. The reason I'm not uh, dropping the uh, command center right away is because laying a command center is what the, gets the AI to actually do stuff. Because for at the moment, the AI is actually... It's not done said. Um... The AI actually is not going to try to build or mine anything. Their workers are basically just doing nothing at the moment until I actually land these guys. And of course, like, we can't build any uh, units until we get all our supply depots up anyway, so it's like, it not really matter too much. I'm just gonna build, like, a bunker right back here just to start off with. We got our six marines, four of these marines will just put in that bunker as soon as it's uh, ready. Oh, we still already have siege mode. Fantastic. Just immediately get level 1 started. Oh, you also have all your upgrades as well. Fantastic. So let's get these siege tanks into you. There we go. Now we're finally barely over our supply limit. Like, that's the probably to start the entire early part of this mission, just... Can I unload? It's on W. Okay. You start off a lot of this mission just trying to actually build things. You don't have enough supply. There we go. Now we can actually start building our workers up. There we go. So we'll get these two guys into our gas. And that area is basically defended for now. Fantastic. So there's a small uh, Protoss space like right in the middle of the map. We're just going to keep on building some SCVs. Uh, we could send in two rings to scale, but I don't really see any reason to actually do that. Because like I said, I kind of already know how it works. And after five minutes, that's when the Zerg is going to do stuff. 
because that's when the warp gate activates and basically Raynor, Raynor and Minx are going to escape. There's no, uh, we're not going to capture them. That's not how this mission ends. Which might be obvious if you actually know that, you know, StarCraft 2 exists. Obviously, we don't kill Raynor and them right away. Yeah, there we go. God damn it, you Protoss boys. Yeah, so there's the warp gate. Keep on building you. Our siege tanks will basically just... You know what? We'll have one tank on that side. So I don't know why I necessarily dropped everybody off, but... Yeah, so the music are going to go attack the warp gate. There is, um... You can't, like, EMP the Protoss, which will actually have the Zerg help you, as opposed to you basically just dying repeatedly. Our level 1 is almost done. Wraith and Dropship is probably not important. We might actually want to get Battle Cruisers because there's a big Zerg base here, which we'd have to push into with the ground army to get to the Protoss. So it might actually just make sense to push in with... with the, um... The battle cruisers and have everybody else. The ground army basically just be support and defend our main base. Are yes, any of these Valkyries like you're really low on HP? But also, I can't really afford to repair you at the moment. Okay, so we'll unload you up here. I do want to get uh, Academy going. 150. I'll have the minerals soon. Not minerals. I'm just trying to remember, I know there's a base like right here, but it's in like a very dangerous location. Not I have a lot of gas right now. Not a lot of minerals. Get our tanks up here. Is load also? No, load's Q and unload's W. Kind of annoying that it's two buttons, but what can you do? Yeah, the Zerg's basically just right up that hill. Rays are... I was gonna say, we can try scouting, but there's no real reason to do that. <laughs> like, I, already, I already know where everything is. We could also, like, set up Vulture Mines, but... Probably is not actually, uh... So, see? Return cargo. Okay, we got you going. We're just very broke. We actually have a lot of gas. We just don't have the minerals right now. Do you have stim pack yet? I doubt it. 100, 100. I would like to get that as. You know, what? actually, let's get range first. It's 150, 150. It's a bit more expensive, but we're not going to be really pushing out for the time being. Come on, there we go. The range up. Great going. It's just front, really right there. Like, what else is actually up here? Got some carriers, got High Templar, Dragoon up there as well. Additional Already supply capped again. Uh, yeah, build it like right here so you don't get like caught. I know you might get caught there as well. Uh, right there, it's fine. We can, we can surround the, um, the starport. That's completely A-OK. -okay. Yeah, so we might just want to take up straight into Battlecruiser. We haven't really been using them. Uh, where can I actually put you? We, we've kind of put ourselves in a bad area to build things. I'm going to build it up here. And probably maybe build some missile turrets as well. Build another U. You guys back to mining. Yeah, like right now, gas isn't the issue. It's very much a mineral issue. Yeah, so let's, yeah, let's build up there. See, it sounds fine to me. I'm just gonna actually build two vultures just for scouting. Get some more upgrades going, spending our money. 
have one tank on the low ground. This area basically should be defended with this uh, bunker and the three tanks. I don't think anything is really going to get past here. Except for... Um, Except for, what do you call it? You just go straight there, I don't really care. Except for Mutalists, those would easily kill those, uh, those siege tanks. So let's get our physics lab. Oh, there's actually a ramp right up the middle of the map. I didn't know that. But there's things on the base like right there. Did they miss the middle, the base in the middle of the map? Where is it? Oh, it's right there. Okay. I don't think there's any money there though. Yeah, there's a base here. But it's like extremely close to the AI, so I don't know why you'd want to do that. Okay, let's get some more scouting information. I think that is the only base. Oh, oh, oh. We got an absurd. No, obs no, let's keep scouting. Keep scouting. Oh, you're dead. Okay. Well, we definitely don't want to go over there. There's not. doesn't really seem like there's much there that we would need. You go in here. Build another bunker. Again, we don't hardly have any money, but we can start building battle because they're extremely expensive. But we probably do want to get them going. Yeah, so there's a Zerg. We got a Zerg up here as well. And a lot of Burl Zerglings, so that's a bit of an issue. But not if we actually don't go that way. We got that going for us. Mining. Ready for right now, we seem pretty uh, secure with what we have right now at the moment. Uh, do we have the model cannons? No. Oh, we also need supply depots, but of course we do. So we got two more of you. Each supply depot only provides eight supply, and the battle cruisers are ten, or they're six. So almost every single battle cruiser takes up an entire supply depot. I think we can actually maybe get you guys to be a little bit closer and kill off. You guys are done. Once you get back to mining, can I build a battle cruiser? I can. We'll start getting those guys going. Jacked up and good to go. Let's move. And try to push him with a ground army. Let's move. Get you guys close enough, you'll be shot by you. Go, go, go. But I want you on the back now. I mean, I want them to get shot by the tank. Oh yeah, we have, the, we have the science facility. Of course we do. They're very expensive. It's one battle cruiser at the same price as like an entire an entire command center. Destination. Research complete. We could be mining gas slightly faster, but again, I think we just need more minerals than anything else. We can build two of you right now. How far into the Zerg base can we go? I want you to be in this like forward marine group here. Why is there a red Zerg? Oh shit. Oh, is there another base here? Oh, there is actually. We do want to actually maybe push our way over there. We got a star report, two uh, scouts, and two dragoons. That should definitely be. Th this force should be able to push that out. And we'll just let these guys, you know, slowly. Not you. Not you either. 
and they will basically just slowly, slowly, slowly. Also, I want to build a new medic or two. But is there a red zerg? Oh no, the red zerg's just a zerg at the very beginning of the mission, right? Will the AI actually come attack me? Doesn't really look like they are. Oh. No reason to do it, guys, too early. You guys basically hang out. You will be my group six. These two dropships aren't really not are really not providing too much for us. We actually need to get more gas as well. And more supply depots. Do you see that? No. Let's move our tanks a little bit forward. I mean, it's actually unpowered right now, so that's good. Please don't shoot my guy, thank you. Oh, now they kill my marine! That's actually just rude. Uh, did I say you to a hotkey? No, you should be on four and I'll just keep building a... And you up here. And scouts are basically trash, so... Can four marines kill two scouts? Uh, yeah, no, I think they can. Uh, maybe? Oh, they barely, barely are able to, but we managed to accomplish our goal. You guys push your way over here. Can you actually build? No, you need to be a little bit closer. And then we can build a... Build the commands over there so we can actually get more money. So we have actually a bunch of Munkers, which probably are not needed. Oh no, I don't want to be over there. Thank you. Can I build my command center now? Maybe after soon as this pylon is done. Or dead. Oh no, it's fine. Five depots, because of course we do. Let's push our way up here. Apparently the uh, Dra Dragoon just bugged out, he didn't know what he was doing. Don't plague me. Actually, just rude. Also, do not pop this open. And I don't know if um, we do need to build up a, uh, a defensive line here, though, because that's where the Zerg's going to be. So you guys can probably unload, push your way north. Uh, you can probably unload, you can unload. And you guys call, come up here. Oh, we don't have supply depots again. Oh, uh, which I think I already knew, but apparently just ignored. We are getting our more supply though, so that's always good. Um... Or more money saved up. Okay, just keep on building marines. You need to repair this tank because he's like almost dead. We'll build a bunch of uh, STVs up here because we have like no money right now. And apparently they'll also flank us from the back, so that's also not a uh, not great. Yeah, you guys go back to mine, build another U, 
Not a lot of There we go. You're, you're basically good to go, I would say. Really don't love to do these drop ships. They're really not helping me out much. No, not you. We didn't actually kill anybody in that little base, did we? I don't think so. When you're done with this uh, bunker, we'll move a bunker up north. Like that, there we go. You guys go in here. So, you more or less, I think, should be somewhat defended. I'm actually gonna move the tank a little bit closer to the, uh, to the bunker, just in case Mutalists come in and they're too far to get, uh, to get cover. So you guys keep on going. Not enough minerals, keep on building troops. I mean, Orange hasn't done anything yet. Bit suspicious, if you ask me. We're at four battle cruisers. We're about to be at five, and I feel like that's should be close to a good number to uh, push through. The reason I'm actually building battle cruisers right now is because clearly, based on the last mission, they're pretty good, or at least they're really, really good at killing me. Uh, the guy who's uh, parasited should go in here. Again, I don't know if it matters because I don't know if the AI cares if it's parasited or not. But sometimes, you know, they, they just see everything. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna move these guys a bit forward. Try to maybe push into this middle base. So we get, uh, yeah, you guys come back over here. Kill off you. Actually, kill my. Oh, the medic wasn't helping us at all. Thank you, medic. We're doing nothing at all. You guys get back to mining. You mine minerals. Yes, you also keep on mining. I was wondering for a second why my uh, command centers were different colors. It's just like, yeah, oh yeah. The, uh, the pre order bonus. You guys keep, keep on pushing north. More supply depots. Do you have a guy over here? Because we have a lot of room for supply depots back over here. The supply depots are being supply blocked really just means we have a way more time to, um... To collect money for more, uh, units and stuff. But if anything, it's actually a good thing. Oh no, they can actually kill my marine. Uh, battle cruisers. Yep, the guys are back working. You guys go here, you go here. There we go, so we have a lot of uh, room right now. Build two more tanks, they can push up to the front. Probably don't need these tanks here anymore. I only lost another marine as well. Try not to lose our tanks. Battlecruiser can probably just go straight into the middle of the map. Battlecruisers really should be on... You put them on five. I don't think I had a five. Better ask me to come up here and repair this. I mean, those guys should die pretty soon. But you might need a second... Um, might want a second bunker down here. Just for a little bit more defense. Hey, don't go up there. All you guys come back down here and collect yourselves. You all range? You all range the cannons. So you got you got preparing, build more SCVs. Uh, you will just scan, scan, scan. No, no more scans, but that's fine. I want you up here to be with the battle cruisers. You know, build some race, uh, race air defense. And now I'm gonna basically camp at the bottom of the ramp now. Uh, you guys go here. 
So we could theoretically, I think, take this base now. You guys hold position here. You also need to uh, de-siege. Oh, that's a lot of Mutalisk. Oh, my Valkyries are not here to actually uh, defend this. Oh, no, they, d they did it. Fantastic. Okay, the battleship cruiser actually is too slow to make a lot of progress up there. You guys are going to be on hold position. Keep on moving north. Yeah, so you guys just patrol over here, I guess. Maybe build some more Valkyries to defend? We don't have an armory. So, we probably should actually build an armory anyway, just to have upgrades. The armory can go there. Build more marines, you can build more tanks. Nah, you get out of here. I think I'm a, is that a defiler? Maybe. I don't actually know what the defiler, um... Death animation looks like. Can we push up the ramp? I'm not too sure. I want you guys on hold position. Cause right now I think they can they can still flank definitely from like here. I feel like I feel like you guys more or less should be fine up here. We've actually a ton of money as well, so we're gonna actually build a bunch of barrackses. And try to, um... I'm not really too sure what to do with these mar uh, barrackses. Maybe just, uh... No, I actually want ship weapons. Are you on 5? No. You're all on group 5 now. Receiving transmission. Comsats. Um. Yeah, so you get a lot of mutilists, but I, I don't. Again, I don't think we have to attack you. You're just kind of there. So you're fine, I think, being ignored. Two fifty. They're actually like really expensive. Hey guys, are good, so we're gonna build more supply depots. Cause that's what we need, we need a ton of supply depots. I'm actually gonna have you on too now. Oh, let's, let's build a supply depot, don't be a baby about it. Okay, well, we'll slowly build up a marine force. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do with the marine force. Maybe just, um... No, don't, don't shoot my own troops, thank you. Get our battle cruiser up here. I'll move our army up on the ridge. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty strong, I would say. Uh, I want you to unload troops, thank you. Yeah, and all you guys are basically just there. You know what? You scout. You're my scouting dropship, because I don't know what actually to do, do, do with you. You go here and then patrol. I think that'll work. Go shift commands. Okay, you're actually invincible, okay. You seem like you're in a pretty good spot. Uh, you're really not gonna do much. These three tanks. I don't know why you're here. Oh, you know, you're you're part of this advancing force. Again, then what are the means gonna do? Human sacrifice ways, I guess. 
But other than that, I don't really know. Oh, I'm accidentally besieging things. I mean, the battle cruisers seem like they work pretty well. Are I gonna be? Ah, can I? Oh no, we lost the battle cruiser. That's fine. You guys all patrol. I mean, I got the Imago Cannon, I haven't really been using it at all, but... Uh, I don't think they can really move with this tank here. I guess the tank will just be on the low ground. So you're all basically going to attack straight into wherever this is. Suicide wave, go! And then I'll just build more and more marines. Again, they are really just the, uh, the sacrificial lambs of the operation. You can probably just see Moto Cannon those things to death. Oh my Zerg, the Zerglings are actually killing all my troops right now. Not how I actually saw that going, but... Can I just Yamoto Blast this to death? And that actually should die pretty soon. Send in reinforcement and waves. And with that dead, fantastic. Oh shit, that's a lot of Zerg. What I see is the mission objective right now. Unless this mission is actually just about to end, I'm not too sure. No, the Marines! Damn it. Oh, I'm assuming that's probably um, invincible and you can't kill it, but I wonder if there actually is a way to kill it. Either way, this is going to be a good time to end this video. So thanks for watching. My name is Anthony. If you enjoyed, give a thumbs up. If not enjoyed, click the thumbs down. Or subscribe and goodbye.